this video, we're going to display a sales order. After you've created a sales order, you may want to go back and look at it again. So you can see right here, and this is the case with so many things you'll do in SAP or in many software products. Right here, I created a sales order. And then right down here, I've got the option to display it. And of course, in between, I have the option to change a sales order. So this is T code VA03. I'm going to go ahead and key that in. And let's see what we can find. Now SAP remembers what I just worked on as I just created this order a short while ago. But if you don't remember, you can go ahead and look up sales orders by, let's say your sales organization. So I click on that and I can see, oh yeah, I've got a sales order there and it'll bring that in for me. And at that point I can just click continue because I have all I need. I just need the sales order number. And I can see all the information related to this sales order. Got all this information. I can work my way through it. Take a look. I can see the shipping dates I've got. I've got, uh, well, I don't have any reason for rejection, but um, if I did, I could display that there. So if I go back to the sales tab, and then select my line item, I could actually click on this button here, item conditions, or I can use the menu path, go to item conditions, and that will display a lot of detail about the item in here, and especially if I've got you know taxes and other types of rebates that I need to think about, uh, discounts, etc. I can see those details here. And then I click the back button to take me back right where I was. So once you've created just about anything in SAP, you can go in and take a look at it and explore it in detail. All right, that's it for this video. Let's uh, go take a look in.